Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So for today's review, I'll be sharing a way to easily keep your home screen nice and organized, uh, kind of like you see here, but also keep um, or have easy access to um, widgets that are available based on the apps you have installed on your device. So the app that we're going to be using is a, it's called Pop-Up Widget. In this case, it's version 3 available um, in the Google Play Store. Um, I think it's $1.49 to purchase it. I don't think there's a free version, so you'll have to spend a little bit of money. But if you find that you want that it helps, then it's definitely worth a shot. So you see that I already have some um, shortcuts or some pop-up widgets already set up. So um, for example, with ABC Launcher, I use a camera app called A Better Camera. So what I have it do is that when I want to take a picture, and um, I'm not sure if it's going to, or I'm deciding on the fly if I want a regular picture, HDR, video, panorama, whatever. I can get all those options and directly launch into that specific mode. So I have it set up with my gallery app. So um, I'm currently using um, Nova Launcher. So I have it set up for the, a better um, camera um, widget for the full version. Um, in the case of Nova Launcher, I'll be, I'll scroll, or I'll go over to Shortcuts, I'll go into Pop-Up Widget, and the same um, widgets that I've created show up, so I can select a better camera uh, launcher full. So now when I swipe up on my gallery, I get my various modes, um, and I can pick whichever one I want, and it'll jump right to that one. The one thing I do need to change is the background. I would, I sh want it to be a dark background so whatever is underneath, like my weather widget, don't get in the way of looking at that widget. Um, so I'm going to walk through a um, process of setting up a shortcut to the pop-up widget or you um, tying it to an icon like you see here using my calendar app. So I already have a shortcut to my calendar app that we see here. Um, but... Um, when I go into um, the edit option, there's nothing tied to it, so it does nothing. But I want a quick access to my full calendar widget so I can see events coming up. I can see um, if anything is important that's coming up and have quick access to those days. So I'll reopen pop-up widget. I'll start a brand new widget. And my um, all any app that has a widget shows up, so I can scroll through all of them. And um, everything that's available is um does show up so i'll go to calendar and i do have the schedule view or the month view so i'm going to pick the month view you can select an icon to use if you want so let's say you have a custom icon pack like i do um, i'll pick you can pick the icon pack that you want and pick the calendar icon that is that you want so i'll do calendar and if there's a different color that you like then you pick and pick that color so i'll just pick this one for the sake of that one you can set a title to the widget if you want so we can call it calendar um if you want to set a custom background if it is for example a transparent widget like hg widgets for example or if you can set a transparent background then you can set your own custom color um in this case i'm just going to do a solid color of black so that there's nothing really um interfering there you can have customized margins if you want on that widget. So if there's spacing issues or anything like that, there's you can set that up. Um, you can have the widget close automatically if you want um, and set the close delay. Um, closing by tab closes it as well. Closing by swipe, um, anything like that. There's a, ver a variety of different pop-up or a variety of different animations as well. I have it set to pop-up, but you can use a, a directional pop-up or a sliding or fade if you um, choose that. Um, you can set the position of the uh, widget as well. So if you want it um, relative to where the icon is or based on your screen, you can do that. So I just did center a screen. Or you can set a custom position if you want it in a specific place. Um, you can set the duration of how fast the widget pops up as well. So for me, um, 200 is about right to see the animation in front of it to pop up uh, for me. So it's a relatively fast one, but if you want it faster or slower, you can do that as well. And then you can set an effect, so bouncing, overshooting, things like that. So I'll do bounce. And then a reflection event will show a reflection when it opens. And then if you want your back or your wallpaper to um, dim a little bit then to focus on that um, widget that has popped up, you can do that as well. 
So that's pretty much it. So um, now that is set up. So now let's say you want to just have a link to that pop up widget to pop up on your home screen. You can touch the widget you created. It'll give you a little uh, dialogue asking if you want to create a shortcut. If you hit OK, when you um, exit out of the app, you'll see that a po icon popped up. It doesn't support, if you're using a custom launcher like Nova Launcher, that supports um, custom dates and icon packs, and it's not it doesn't I don't think it's gonna work like it did now. But when you touch it, now the um, widget pops up with that um, pop up and a balance animation. I'll touch the icon and it closes, so I have that um, option available, so uh, it works out nicely. Um, but now let's say I want to tie it to my calendar icon itself, so I do get the date. Today is the thirtieth. And I want access to that widget, so I'll go into Icon Options, Edit, and under Swipe Action, I'll go back over to Shortcuts, uh, Pop-Up Widgets, and I'll select the calendar widget I just created, and done. So now when I um, swipe, or sorry, swipe up on it, um, I get my nice little month view um, widget, and then I can, of course, interact with it to um, view the different months and see what's coming up, what's passed, and all of that good stuff. So that's actually pretty much all there is for the app. Um, if you want to organize your widgets a little bit and keep them in a specific order, you can do that. So um, it's pretty much drag and drop just like you see there. Um, options has things like hiding the status bar, translucence, translucent UI, um, overlapping events, um, legacy widget picker things like that um you can back up your widgets if you want as well so um if you want to keep a copy and all of that for um moving to a device or just having that copy you can do that um it looks like it requires an internet connection for that to happen so something to consider there as well um, but that's pretty much all there is for the app. It's a pretty nifty UI, so it works well for me. For example, for my gallery, I don't have a gallery widget or a gallery, uh, yeah, gallery widget. So I can, I have it tied to the better camera widget. So kind of two in one, uh, purpose there. Um, I have the WhatsApp widget tied to the WhatsApp icon so I can swipe up there, see all the, inter um, different chat messages that are pending. Um, for Feedly, swiping up gives me new stories so I can get a quick glance at what some of the top headlines are going on there. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it has a variety of um, options. So if you have want a particular color scheme, you can do that. Or if you want a different color scheme, then that is also an option um, to use there as well. So definitely worth the dollar 49 or so it's definitely less than two dollars so it's definitely worth checking out and using and um as you can see here it keeps my home screen nice and organized and it gives me quick access to my widgets as well so i don't need multiple pages i don't have to worry about uh, what one widget looks like versus another um they're all generally um normalized and i can use them all or place them behind icons so they're still easy to access and um, easy to view so that's all there is for that so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can email me at headphones at yahoo.com you can find me on twitter at patel n01 all um past reviews including this one can be found on youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 and all uh, links to social media, past episodes, and all of that good stuff can be found on the website at pateln01.com. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.